Hi guys, this is Ms. Mendoza. Welcome to our final week of Digital Lessons. Uh, these lessons are going to be a little bit different because this week we're just going to be reviewing. This is our final fourth grade review. This week I will send you a set of review questions each day and I just want you to basically practice the fourth grade skills before you graduate to fifth grade. These skills that we are practicing, you're going to go ahead and see them in fifth grade again. So I want you to have good mastery before you move on to the next grade level. Okay, guys, there's seven days of school left. The last day of school is May the 27th, next Wednesday, not this Wednesday. After this, you're going to be a fifth grader. Um, please be sure to send me any picture of work that you have not completed because I'm about to put in all your grades this week. Materials needed for this lesson are going to be paper, pencil, a positive attitude, and energy. I know this has been a weird school year. It's been very odd, very different. Uh, all I'm asking you is for a little bit more energy this week. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and begin. I'm not really going to do a lesson. I'm just going to give you a set of 10 questions. And these are basically review questions that are going to help you when you go to fifth grade. Okay, go ahead and get a paper and go ahead and label it numbers 1 through 10. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to get your paper ready. Okay, question number one. Which shows the value of the digit seven in the number 47,085 and 92 hundreds. I'm going to give you about 20 seconds to answer this question. Okay, let's go ahead and go to question number two. Eliana earns $28 each hour. Last week, she worked 16 hours. How much money did Eliana earn last week? I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to answer this question. Question number three, Raul had a collection of 234 baseball cards. He put the same number of cards in six boxes. How many baseball cards did he put in each box? I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to answer this question. Okay, let's go ahead and go to question. Question number four. A rectangular field has a length of 62 yards and a width of 37 yards. What is the area of the field in square yards? You have 30 seconds to answer this question.
Okay, let's go ahead and go to question. Marcus placed a rectangular fence around his garden. The length of the fence was 39 feet and the width was 14 feet. What is the perimeter of the fence? You have 30 seconds to answer this question. Question number six. Which statement describes the attributes of a rhombus? A, one pair of parallel sides, two acute angles, two obtuse angles. B, two pairs of parallel sides, two acute angles, two obtuse angles. C, two pairs of parallel sides, four obtuse angles. D, two pairs of parallel sides, four acute angles. You have about 20 seconds to answer this question. Question number seven, what type of angle is shown? A, acute angle, B, straight angle, C, obtuse angle, D, right angle. You have 20 seconds to answer this question. Uh, question number eight, compared to two fractions, you have 20 seconds to answer this question. Question number nine, which shows the decimal 0 0.02 as a fraction? You have 20 seconds to answer this question. Question number 10. Pamela had a rope with 9 and 5 tenths inches of ribbon. She used 3 and 68 hundredths inches of ribbon to make a bow. How many inches of ribbon does Pamela have left? You have 30 seconds to answer this question. Okay, congratulations. You have now completed digital lesson number 32. Just a review lesson. Pretty simple. This is the way our lessons are going to be all this week. We're just going to be reviewing. I just want to make sure you're ready for fifth grade. Please be sure to send me a picture of your DOL. And bye.